guys, it's Melissa. In this video, I am going to give you a couple of quick tricks to uh, for, to help you when you are testing a new material that you're trying to find the best cut settings for on your Roland. Okay, so I went through a lot of testing to figure out what the best cut settings and perf cut settings are for this material, which is a four millimeter. Uh, but what I will tell you is I will get to how I did that, um, how I actually cut through, and you can see I perf cut there um, in a different video. But in this video, I'm going to show you kind of my process of how I test. So if you are having um, trouble cutting, so for example, you can see like I, the, I was trying to perf cut. This is a thicker type material. Um, I wasn't getting good cuts. It was the material was a mess. Everything was just a mess, right? So I was also not only using a lot of material, but I was also using a lot of ink. So what you want to do is actually not print. When you are trying to find the best cut settings, just cut. So not only are you saving time, but you're saving ink. Uh, you might be wasting material as you find the best settings, but at least you're not wasting ink at the same time. And obviously it takes time to print. So you're going to speed up this process. So how do you turn off the printing and just cut? So you're going to go into VersaWorks. Um, and have your file, the file that you're ready using. Now, this is the file that I'm using right here, um, and it's a butterfly, and I'm gonna go into settings so you can see. So this file does actually have um, a, um, a fill. You can see this right back here, this butterfly is the actual fill. But if you go into cut controls, or excuse me, if you go into print, uh, yeah, cut controls, and you tell it that instead of um, printing and cutting, which is what you normally would do. If you change the operation mode to cut only, then you can still cut that same shape with the various test settings that you're going to use, but you're not going to be wasting time or ink with, when you are literally just trying to find the best settings. Now, tip number two is to actually keep track of the settings that you're finding and stop trying to find the best settings for kiss cut and die cut or perf cut at the same time. Focus on one and then the other. So for this four millimeter, four mil vinyl, what I did was I had a process of elimination. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm only going to cut, okay? I'm only going to kiss cut. So I didn't even worry about this perf cut line um, to begin with, okay? I actually didn't even have, I had two different files. I had one that just had the kiss cut and then one that also had a secondary uh, perf cut. So what I did was I started um, with the standard default cut settings for this material. So you're gonna go into quality and you're gonna change the media type. Now, you wanna find the media type that is the most similar to the, to the material you're using. I'm, in this case, was using Orifol uh, 3165, which as I said is four mil. It is high gloss and it has gray glue, which I assume is partly what makes it thicker than something um, like a, a thinner, vinyl so i used those that selection and then for print quality for this test i did just put it on draft even though eventually i ended up realizing oh i don't even i'm not trying to test the color i'm just trying to test the cut so then what you're going to do is going down to cut controls and you're just going to use the standard so you're going to use the standard and then evaluate the standard so what did those kiss what did those settings do if it didn't cut through far enough where it made it hard to weed then you know you need to increase the force and depending on how much how difficult it was to weed like were you able to pop it out when you like kind of pressed your thumb through if so you don't need to increase the force that much maybe up 10 um, just to um, just to start okay but keep notes on these because if you're not keeping notes on what's working and what's not working you're gonna end up getting confused it's too many numbers it's too many tests to do that so I would keep um, just a notes a little digital notes on my computer and then I would figure out what worked once I dialed in what worked for the test for the for the kiss cut then I knew that that would work and I moved on to the perf cut and you have to evaluate the problem. So in this case, I had this perf cut that was just tearing up my my material. It was I knew that it, the blade was going actually too deep, and it was just too much. And so that actually was a combination of issues. One, I needed to switch the blade. So I was using a 45 degree blade. I need to switch it to a 60 degree blade. How did I know that? Literally just on research. What are people saying about thicker type vinyls? 
in the in the Facebook groups, on Google, on YouTube, what are people saying? Well, they all said the one thing that I kept seeing, kept seeing, kept seeing was change your blade to 60. So I did, that was the first thing that I did. And then when you do that, they also were recommending not to have too much of the blade out. Well, I evaluated my blade and way too much of my blade was sticking out of the carriage. And so I pulled that back a little bit. And then again, I tried the uh, default perf cut settings. In this case, it literally, the first time you can see here, this first one here with the square was the one that I tried first and that worked okay. But then I realized that I probably need to adjust just a tad. And so I increased the force just a little bit on the perf cut and then I was able to, to cut that. And what I ended up with um, eventually after three days of testing was a very perfect kiss cut and die cut. So you can see this is die cut, but then I also, I like to make it easy to peel. I like to um, put that perf cut slightly outside and offset. And then I was able to also have my um, sticker die cut as well. So there's a little bit of a ridge there. You're, what you're seeing here on the very edge is actually the backing. And I do that when I perf and kiss cut to make it easier to peel because I find that for stickers that are die cut all the way through, they're, they're more difficult to peel. So when you are looking for how to figure out your best cut settings for your material, it can be a frustrating process, but once you figure it out, you wanna keep those settings. Don't lose them because the next time you don't wanna to have to go through all this testing again. But again, keep in mind, turn off printing, just cut. Focus on die cut first if that's what you're doing. And then if you're gonna also do a perf cut, Focus on that second instead of trying to do them both simultaneously where you're going to end up getting more confused. It's going to be harder to narrow down what the actual issue is. Okay. All right, you guys, now that you understand how to figure out the best cut settings for your material, how to do some test cuts, um, I want to see what you're doing. Leave some comments. Tell me what you've struggled with, what you found success with. And if you're ever looking for one-on-one -on -one help, make sure you check out Silhouette U. It is more than just uh, for Silhouette. We cover all kinds of things, all kinds of softwares, all kinds of cutters, all kinds of printers, lots and lots of different things. And if you're looking at how I ended up with these beautiful die cut stickers on uh, the Oracle 13165, I'm gonna have another video on exactly how to die cut and kiss cut vinyl decals.